Hi, Todd Martin here from The Walking Code. As a physician, a great deal of my time is spent taking care of people with pain. And most of those people don't have any obvious reason for it, at least not a reason that's obvious from the perspective of the exam room table. The problem becomes more obvious when you observe the way many people move. Moving in a way that's different from the way our bodies were designed to move puts abnormal stresses on our feet, our ankles, our knees, our hips, and our back. These abnormal stresses lead to abnormal wear and tear and ultimately lead to pain. In this video, I would like to show one of the most common dysfunctional styles of movement, generally referred to as the duck-footed walk. I also refer to this as the flip-flop walk because People who spend a great deal of time in flip-flops most often develop this abnormal type of gait, generally as an unconscious method to prevent the flip-flops from flying off their feet when they walk. To demonstrate examples of the duck-footed walk, I took a trip to the local mall. In the 10 minutes it took to wait for my chicken kebab salad to be finished, I saw more examples of the duck-footed walk than I could possibly use. As a physician, it's scary to see how many people use this type of walking style. All of these people are destined for pain, and it would be a rare physician that'll figure out the cause. Physicians as a whole don't evaluate people's walking styles, nor do they have the expertise to do so. If your feet turn out when you walk, it's imperative that you work on correcting this problem. If you have friends that walk with duck feet, and I know you do, encourage them to get help. Friends really shouldn't let friends walk with duck feet. It is not just a style problem, it is a health problem. 